see uh, this uh, uh, characteristics of different mobile applications that we are seeing. So here uh, the challenges uh, uh, compared to web, web automation. So I, I, I assume that most of the people have been working in automation and they are very well versed with web automation, web, website of, uh, web application automation. So in a web automation, mostly we would bother or mostly we would take into consideration the combinations of different browsers that are available and different operating systems that are involved. But when it comes to mobile, mobile uh, automation, it is more like uh, you have to take the different types of applications uh, that are uh, in, in scope and then you have to take into consideration the different factors like uh, how your automation suite would handle when your hardware or your native device is being rotated, when the screen on your hardware rotates, how does your scripts handle? When you do a swipe operation, how does your scripts handle? Similarly, um, when 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 you are playing your web app, assume that you are playing your temple run and somebody calls you. So how would your automation scripts would be able to handle those notifications? So so all these complexities are involved in mobile automation, and you should have a very robust and a, a, a robust and a agnostic uh, uh, automation framework so that it handles all these cases for you. Uh, so the slide what you are seeing is basically a representation of different application features and what each native and web and hybrid applications can uh, see. Like basically just to broadly categorize, the native applications uses your uh, your mobile devices graphics. So the high end the phone, the which the graphics are. So when it comes to uh, web, web apps, they basically use the HTML, and they are uh, they are more customized by your developers to make sure that uh, your experience, user experience, accessing the web is similar across multiple dev devices. So they are a bit low in uh, uh, graphics and quality. Similarly, the native apps can access your local uh, camera features and the notifications and calendar calendar and the contacts in your phone whereas in your, your web applications cannot do it but being a hybrid it can do both of them so it's basically like uh, broadly we, uh, we classify native applications are very rich in user experience whereas hybrid experience, hybrid applications are a low in bit of uh, user experience because they are optimized to be uh, to have similar experience on uh, multiple devices. So I hope till now it's all clear. So I'm, j I'm jumping into the actual automation uh, solutions uh, that are pro available in the market for mobile automation. So uh, the different mobile uh, automation solutions that are available in the market currently for us are basically based on these technologies. One are uh, image-based recognition, and the other one is OCR-based identification, which is optical character recognition uh, recognition methodology, and the others are native object identification. So, in image-based recognition, what the tools allow you to do is like basically you capture uh, the image of the object and then you prepare a uh, repository of all these images and when you play back your automation suite this repository, the uh, repository of images are compared against the runtime image and then match and then uh, perform the action on. When you see uh, the object, the OCR based, uh, object character recognition based uh, tools what they do is like you select the object and the area, uh, area of the object capture an image so from that uh, from that object and the image you would be able to read the characters on it something like you have a s button you capture the image of that s button and actually what it does is like it reads the yes text from that image and compares that text at the runtime so basically object uh, ocr based uh, solutions are a bit slow in execution why? Because of they have to capture the image, compare the image, and then read the text and then perform the action. And the other types are uh, native object-based uh, object-based tools, which basically identify 
your objects based on the properties. So to allow you to do this, they have to, uh, uh, the, the tools has to have access to the native APIs of the device. So here, if we see, basically there are two ways in which the tools can access the uh, uh, objects of your applications, mobile applications on the device. So generally the devices what we use are, we, uh, we, they are touch, touch based. We touch them and we swipe them and we pinch and spread them. But how does your uh, tool being allowed to access, access your uh, mobile application, how is it being allowed to capture the images? So basically, there are uh, two ways. They are like jailbroken and non-jailbroken. So when you do a jail, when you jailbreak your device, uh, the, after you jailbreak it, then the tools, whatever the tools, will be able to access your uh, mobile applications and, and perform the actions. If not, if you don't want to jailbreak, uh, if you want to work on non-jailbroken devices, it's basically like. Uh, uh, you ha you would be each tool would be providing a small code snippet or a small app that should be deployed onto your device and that would be executing in the background and whenever this uh, tool for tries to perform an action that code snippet gets access uh, uh, gets ready and that would uh, actually like sends back the uh, messages that are being performed onto the uh, tool. So these are basically the different types of automation solutions that are available. And the next slide, yeah, this slide if you could see it. So this, these are the different tools that are available in the market for us, which are based on the solutions what we have, what we have seen earlier. So these are broadly like we have experience working with all these tools. I've mostly worked with most of these tools as a. Um, so if we have to categorize these tools, like uh, Experi Test is one of the tools which, which uh, actually like has the capability to read it based on your image or OCR or native objects. So it's basically, uh, it depends on the situation and the need you have. Based on that, you would be choosing the tool uh, what you wanted. So something like if you want your uh, automation tool, uh, to be executed in multiple environments like uh, you have your iOS and Android device to be tested but the automation tool and where you are executing the automation suite uh, has to be on a Mac and uh, has to be on a Linux and a Windows then you go for something like an eggplant tool and if you want to have a cloud based solution so just like you want you have all your devices in the cloud and you want to connect to the devices, you perform all your uh, testing there and get back. So such type of solutions are provided by Perfect Auto Mobile and Keynote device. And there are some other open source uh, tools based on like this, these open source automation tools like SQLi or PhoneMonkey. They give a decent coverage, uh, but, it, but there are some compromises. So it depends purely on what the need is uh, and what do you want to do. You pick up the right tool. 